Here we are looking at congruent figures. That's right, congruent. Congruent. It means equal. It means identical. It means exactly the same. We can see that these two triangles down here are congruent. They are identical. We can see that if we overlap them, they are exactly the same size. You may also notice that if I move this one around, if I move it up here, it's still congruent. It's still identical. If I spin it around, boy, yes, still the same shape, still identical. It doesn't matter if it dances around, if you drop it like it's hot, it is the same shape. It is still congruent to this other triangle over here. These little hash marks and arches indicate which sides and angles are congruent or equal to the other ones. For example, EF here has one hash mark, so that side length is equal to this one, BC. So if this was 5, that means this would be 5. If this was 7, that means this would be 7. Same thing with DE, this 2 hash mark 1 is congruent or equal to this AB 2 hash mark 1. Exactly the same thing for 3 hash marks, DF and AC. All of those corresponding sides are equal. The arches, it's the exact same thing. This B, angle B, is congruent to angle E. Angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle C is congruent to angle F. All these angle measures, which is just the distance between the adjacent lines, those are all congruent. Now let's look at two similar figures. Similar figures are not exactly congruent, but they kind of are in the sense that their angles are congruent, their angles are equal. We can see in these two triangles that angle A and angle D are congruent, one arch. Angle B and angle E are congruent, two arches. And angle C and angle F are congruent, those angle measures are equal with three arches. The big difference, the big differencia is that the side lengths are not equal, but they are proportional. We can see that 7 and 14 are not the same, but if we multiply 7 by 2, we'll get to 14. Same thing with 10 and 20. 10 times 2 is 20, and 6, side BC times 2, is the same as EF, 12. So we scale this whole triangle times 2, that's 7 times 2, 14, 10 times 2, 20, 6 times 2, 12, and we will have similar figures. The side length's not the same, but they are scaled proportionally, and the angles are congruent. Now multiplying each side by 2 was just an example of two similar figures. You can also make a shape 3 times, 5 times, even 1 half, or 1 third, and it could still be similar. All you need is the same shape, meaning congruent equal angle measures, and proportional side ratios. So if you've been sleeping and just woke up, I'm going to give you a quick summary. Congruent figures are equal in every way. They have equal side lengths and equal angle measures. Similar figures also have equal angle measures, but they can be bigger or smaller as long as the side lengths are proportional. That means you multiply by the same number to get the new side lengths.